sorry. We were talking about Edgar's <laughs> brilliant film, uh, Last Night in Soho, which that clip was from. It opens only in theatres this Friday. Congratulations. It's such a brilliant piece of work. Thank you. You should be so proud of it. Thank and you. I know... I know it's very important, and I understand why after seeing it last night, it's very difficult to not reveal any spoilers from the film. So as much as you are able, tell us what the film's about. Well, uh, Thomas and Mackenzie plays Eloise, like a young girl moving to London to go to fashion college. And she has a sort of vivid supernatural gift, and she, in her dream, starts to embody the life of the previous inhabitant of her flat. And she goes back to the 60s, and everything is glamorous and alluring, until it isn't, dot, dot, dot. Yes. <laughs> and it's sort of, it's, I don't even, it, it's, not, it's not a horror film, and yet there are huge moments of, of that. And the master of horror, Stephen King, tweeted that he, he loved the movie so much that he's going to see it a second time this Friday. I know that you're a huge fan of his. If you had to pick a favourite movie that's been made from a Stephen King book, what would you, which one would you choose? Well, I know everybody's obsessed with The Shining, but I have to say, first time out, first novel, first film, I'm totally obsessed with Carrie. Mm. I have seen Carrie... Brian De Palma, right? Yeah, Brian yeah. De Palma's Carrie. I have seen that film so many times, and I think the measure of why I like it so much is it's one of those films where I like to imagine that maybe it will turn out OK this time. <laughs> There's a point in the movie <laughs> right, where you yes. see in the movie where Carrie White and Tommy Ross are, like, uh, the prom king and queen, and they're going up to the stage, and everybody's clapping, and I'm thinking... And then maybe it'll be OK this time. Maybe the bucket of blood won't land on Tommy's head and she won't kill everybody. So I have this kind of recurring fantasy of just every time I watch it, I think it might turn out a different way. So they're not all going to laugh at you. No, not, <laughs> not at all. So is there a movie that you've seen that you would like to have a different ending? Oh, goodness. Um, different ending. Um, I don't know. How about... Uh... You know, it's kind of a shame, right, that uh, the, the Tin Man was supposed to get on that balloon, right, at the end of <laughs> Wizard of Oz. Right, yeah. Right? It was, it, uh, they were all, you know, and only Dorothy. Maybe if they could all have headed back to Kansas, you know. The... <laughs> I've never, I even had had time. Time. I've never right? even really thought of that. You know, get the Scarecrow, the Cowardly, get them all. Get them all to Kansas. But maybe they didn't want to go to Kansas. Apparently, apparently they didn't have a choice in, in <laughs> this my, case. My I girl think they friend, wanted, you know, my who wouldn't want to go to Kansas? Yeah. <laughs> My girlfriend actually edits the movie in a way in terms of, like, she has a thing where she used to watch Titanic, like, on VHS and uh, would, like, stop at the love scene and not watch the second half at all. So in her head, that's a romantic drama and it ends with Leo and Kate in the back of that car having sex. Yes. And I was thinking, don't you want to... I said, don't you want to see them all die? That's the best bit. She goes, no, I don't need to see that. And then over Christmas, we actually watched it again. I hadn't seen it in forever. And she did exactly that at that point. She goes, bed for me. <laughs> <laughs> and I sort of like, and left. And I was saying, I'm going to stay in. I'm going to stay up and watch him die. <laughs>